changing it up a little bit. My name is Emmy Litwock, and I'm formerly incarcerated, so I'm going to be changing the subject just slightly. We've seen an incredible week this week with marriage equality and Confederate flags coming down everywhere, and now we have to dismantle the 40-year mass incarceration prison system that's in America. pivot to other issues which are important in the community and I'm here to tell you that we, the LGBT community, are in prison in numbers that are astounding. There are no records of how many of us are in prison, but I'm going to give you some numbers to think about. I believe there's at least a half a million of us in America's jails, prisons, juvenile detention centers, immigration detention centers and under supervised release and I think that's a conservative number and that's an annual number. There are 65 million Americans who've been convicted of a crime. There are 20 million people that are under or either in jails, prisons or under supervised release. 2.3 million are in prison, 12 million go through our jails, 5.9 million are under supervised release. We are a significant and disproportionate number of people, and we are so disadvantaged, and we need your help. There are 700,000 people that come out of prison. We probably are 30 to 40,000 of those people. They have no funds, no network, and no family to go back to. They're very disenfranchised. But the hardest number, which you need to think about, is 80,000 people who are every day in solitary confinement. 80,000, and we are disproportionately those put into solitary confinement under the guise of protective custody or because an officer doesn't like you because you're queer. I was in solitary confinement for seven weeks for writing an article that said an officer had done something wrong to, to an inmate. Um, hang on a second. In solitary confinement, you're in hell. It is a prison within a prison. There are no rules, and, there, and all you think about is death and dying. The LGBT, the LGBT community and what happens to us is unspeakable. The amount of sexual violence, the amount of rape, uh, that we experience is high in numbers and, no, and we don't have enough of a conversation. The transgender population is at 100% at risk of being raped. They're raped everywhere. There are three things you can help with. The first, join in any effort with me or with another criminal justice group to end solitary confinement. We need to get people who are under 18 out of prison permanently and never treated as an adult ever again. It's just torture for them. Third, we need to get Governor Cuomo to to relate to write some clemencies, join candles for clemency, Alan Roscoff, myself, and others trying to urge the governor governor to do one thing. It's hard to be elderly in prison. I was 60 years old in prison. We want everybody over the age of 60 who has served 20 years to be out of prison. And if you've served 30 years like Judy Clark, your time is now. I'm just going to tell you one short story before I end this, which is my mother's a Holocaust survivor. Before I went to prison, she said to me, prison is going to be hard, or harder for you than it was for me in concentration camp. And I said, Mom, you're crazy. I mean, how can you compare the two? She said, I was 12 years old when I went. You're 60. It's going to be a harder experience for you. When I was in prison and when I was in solitary confinement, I thought about my, what my mother said. She said, I was a little girl. I didn't know what was going on. You're an old woman. And she wasn't saying that to be mean. She was saying that because she was worried. If you're over 60, you can't survive in prison. Let's get them out. I ask you, please seek me, seek other people out, pivot to this issue. There are too many of us in prison and we need your help. Thank you.